guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here back again, and today I'm going to be making a tier list ranking all of the American Girl Doll Girl of the Years. So if you don't know, tier listing items is a huge trend on YouTube and has been done in all different genres throughout the platform. I decided to rank all 20 of the Girl of the Year dolls in five different categories. The categories are outstanding in every way, overall a good doll, meh, could have been better, needs improvement, and something went wrong here. So I just wanted to say before we get started that these are my own opinions and you don't have to agree with them. It's totally fine if you disagree with any of my opinions. Your opinions are valid and so are mine. So please don't leave any hate comments if you do disagree with my opinions. So we are going to start off over here with Leah Clark and I have a pretty controversial opinion about her. Everybody in the AGTube and AGIG community often list her as their number one favorite doll but for me, she's definitely not. I do like that she is into photography, but I feel like her collection is pretty similar to Kanani and Jess's collections. And quite honestly, I think that she's kind of a brat in her stories. So I'm going to put her in needs improvement. Up next is Blair Wilson, the girl of the year of 2019. I think that her story is okay. It's different from other stories that American Girl has done in the past. Her collection is okay. Some of it seems a little bit childish, so I'm going to put her in meh, could have been better. She's not the worst doll that American Girl has come out with, but I don't think that she is the best doll either. Next is Krista Maxwell, the girl of the year of 2009. Her story had to do with bullying, which I think is a really important message. Her collection was interesting. It included a lot of different pieces from swimming to sewing and everything like that. And I do think it's cool that she came with two best friends. So I'm also going to put her in meh, could have been better. Next, we have Gabriella McBride. Her story and just everything about her is very controversial. The way that I stand on it is that she is a really pretty doll, but her story is super lackluster and a lot of her items were just recycled from previous Girl of the Years. So I'm going to have to say that something went wrong here. I know that she is the first black girl of the year, but I really think that American Girl did her dirty and that she could have been much better. Next, we have Grace, girl of the year of 2015. I was pretty indifferent to Grace when she came out, but now looking back on her, I think that her collection was really solid. Her story was a totally different concept and her collection had multiple adorable pieces as well. And I don't really have many negative things to say about her. So I'm going to bump her all the way up to outstanding in every way. Next, we have Gwen Thompson, and she is the best friend of Krissa Maxwell, who was the girl of the year of 2009. Gwen is the girl that was bullied a lot in Krissa's story because she was experiencing homelessness. I love Gwen's outfit, but the doll itself is kind of just a recycled Truly Me doll, similarly to Gabriella. Her story is unique and different, so I'm just going to put her in the needs improvement category. Next up is the girl of the year of 2014, Isabel Palmer. She is a dancer struggling to get out of her sister's shadow. The dancer part is really basic and has been done several times by American Girl in the past. I think that her collection was not the best, honestly. It had a lot of mix and match outfits that were really overpriced and not that cute. I'm going to put her in the needs improvement category as well. Up next is Jess McConnell. She is the girl of the year of 2006. She was the first Asian girl of the year, which is super cool. I actually just finished reading her book a couple of days ago, and I was really surprised that I actually enjoyed her entire story. Obviously, I would have wanted them to include more items in her collection, but since the girl of the year line was relatively new back then, they didn't want to risk it by making a bunch of different items for the dolls. But other than that, I guess I don't really have many complaints about her. So I'm going to put her in overall a good doll. Next up is Joss Kendrick, the girl of the year of 2020. And I absolutely love Joss. Even though her storyline is kind of similar to dolls that we've had in the past, I think that she brings a lot to the table with her hearing loss. And I think that it's important that American Girl did include that in her story itself. I really enjoy her collection as well. I think it has a bunch of really 
cute items and I don't really have many negative things to say about her as well so I'm actually going to put her in outstanding in every way. Next is Kaylee Hopkins. She is the girl of the year of 2003. Kaylee's story has to do with saving the tide pools from being destroyed when construction is taking place. She is the first sort of environmental activist of the Girl of the Year line. Her story was really good actually, but once again, since she was one of the first Girl of the Years, she did not come with many items in her collection. So that's why I'm going to have to put her in meh, could have been better. Next up is Kanani Akina, and I love Kanani. She is probably up there with one of my favorite dolls of all time. When she came out, I was obsessed with the doll. I think the doll itself is really pretty and I love every single item in Kanani's collection. So I'm going to have to say that she is outstanding in every way. Next is Lainey Holland. She was the girl of the year of 2010. Her story also had to do with environmental activism. She was interested in saving animals. I think that her collection is really good. I also remember spending several hours when I was younger looking at her catalogs wishing that I could have every single item in her collection. So I'm going to have to put her in overall a good doll. She's not my favorite doll of all time, but I think that she is a really solid choice. Next is Lindsay Bergman. She is the first girl of the year and she was the girl of the year from 2001. I actually just finished reading her story as well recently and I have to say I was kind of underwhelmed. I know that since she is the first girl of the year, they didn't really have much to go off of for her story, but it was kind of all over the place and didn't really have a set story. Her collection, of course, was really small since she was the first girl of the year, but I think it is important to acknowledge that if it wasn't for her, all of these dolls would not be here. So I'm going to say that meh, she could have been better. They definitely did improve the girl of the year line over the years after her, which I think is really good to acknowledge as well. Next is Luciana Vega. She was the girl of the year of 2018. I think the doll itself is really gorgeous. I like that the whole space theme is something totally different that they've never done with any other doll in the past. I think that her collection is okay. It has a lot to do with space, of course. If you're really into space, then that's good for you, but I guess if you're not, then it's not that good for you. So I'm gonna have to put her in overall a good doll. I think that her story is good and her collection is as well. Up next is Marisol Luna and she is the girl of the year from 2005. I also just finished reading her story recently as well and I do have to appreciate that she is from Chicago. I'm from Chicago and I really related to her in her story because of that but other than that I have to say that her story was pretty convenient. I don't want to spoil anything but if you've ever read her story I guess you'll know what I mean. She was the first dancer girl of the year so I have to give her props for that I guess but I guess I'm gonna have to put her in meh could have been better. Next is McKenna Brooks, Girl of the Year of 2012, and she also falls into a category of dolls that I was once absolutely obsessed with. I feel like a lot of young girls go through that time period when they are super interested in gymnastics, so I know when she came out, I absolutely loved her collection. I think her story is really good as well. It talks about a lot of different challenges that a young girl might go through. I'm going to have to put her in outstanding in every way. Next is Mia St. Clair, and and Mia is another one of the dolls that I am absolutely obsessed with. I know a lot of people on AGTube and AGIG actually don't like Mia, but I have to say that she is really underrated and she is really good. I also thoroughly enjoyed her story as well, and I think that she has some really cute outfits in her collection. So I'm going to have to put her in outstanding in every way. Next is Nikki Fleming, Girl of the Year of 2007. She is a doll that I was once really interested in, and then I fell out of interest with but I actually recently read her story and now I am once again super interested in her. I was pleasantly surprised by her story that it is really different from all the other girl of the years. She deals a lot with trying to manage a lot of different things on her plate as well as training a service dog which I think is a really important message that American Girl included in her story and I think that the items in her collection pertain really well to her story itself. So surprisingly I'm actually going to put her in outstanding in every way. Now, Next is Sage Copeland, Girl of the Year of 2013, and I remember when Sage came out, I really did not like her. I thought that she was super basic and a repeat of Nikki. Although I don't exactly love her story, I think that her collection is a really solid collection and includes a lot of pieces that I really love. Looking back as well, I think that the doll itself is absolutely stunning, and every time I look at her, I'm reminded of the fact that I should really use her more often. So I'm going to put her in overall a good 
doll. And then finally, we end with Miss Sonali Matthews, who is the best friend of Chrissa Maxwell, the girl of the year of 2009. Sonali was actually the bully in Chrissa's story, although at the end, she did turn nice and become friends with Chrissa. I think that she is a really, really pretty doll, and she is definitely on my wish list. Although I think the fact that they made her a bully kind of marks her down on my list a little bit. So I'm going to have to put her in the meh could have been better category because I think that if she wasn't a bully, she would have been a better character. So this is my completed tier list ranking of the girl of the years. And now looking back, I definitely feel pretty confident in the way that I've ranked all these dolls here. And I guess that is it with this video. If you guys are interested in trying this out for yourself, I will leave a link in the description box below for you to have access to this tier list where you can put the dolls in whatever ranking you want them in. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you'll be notified every single time that I upload. And also don't forget to comment down below if you agree with my rankings but remember, please don't be hateful. And finally, don't forget to head on over to my Instagram. It is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore to see some behind the scenes of my channel and some cute photos of my dolls. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye.